When we when we shoot, uh, you actually have to stand on your on your legs, and then you have to move a little. It's very small movements, but you feel the tension. Then you use your back because you're rotating, and of course you use your both hands because you hold a weapon in it. Well, the muscle memory technique and reaction are the huge part of our performance because you have to react immediately. You have to have a really good technique, but the muscles remember what you have to do. So you have, you have a, about half a second to hit the target since it appears. So it's the combination of the three of them. Well, eyes are quite important for shooters, let's say, because it's uh, very important so that uh, the eyes can focus at the target and uh, you have a very good peripheral vision because you have to be oriented in the, in the space of the shooting range. The best position for us uh, before shooting is, of course, to when we make sure that the weapon is on a perfect position in relation to your eye. You have to see the eyes, you have to see the sides, and of course you cannot see the barrel. So we mount as precisely as possible in, let's say, a couple of tenth of a second, which is the movement like this. And uh, you have to make sure before you call for a target that actually you are prepared for the position. Yeah, actually breathing is very important because I, I would say it's a vital part of the routine because once you breathe, breathe in, breathe out, you can feel a little bit more relaxed and that's what we really need before we call for the target. So it's actually very important that you breathe, breathe very slowly and I call for a target with the breathe out. So then I just breathe out easy and if I'm out of my breath it's a problem but then I try to, you know, that very, very short breathe before I, uh, before I uh, get the target. Actually, once you call for a target, you have three, up to three seconds till it appears. And once it appears, you shoot it, let's say, in a half of a second. So you have like 300, 500 milliseconds until you hit the target. So you have to move, you have to mount and you have to shoot. And that's really, really quick when you consider that the target flies like 80 kilometers per hour. Well, as the competition goes on, the whole body gets of course tired, but uh, the most, uh, the muscles which are a little bit more tensed are of course the back, and because we do rotation, and of course the hands because they lift the weapon. It doesn't appear uh, that heavy, but it's four and a half kilos. And when you have a competition and when you dry fire, you actually lift it around 200 times. So it's really, really uh, tiring for the muscles. So I can do 250 shots in a training or maybe over, let's say, 300 shots. And I feel still fine because uh, there is the muscle memory and the, the hands, they are used to these movements and this weight. Well, shooting is not the sport where you compete with the others. Shooting is the sport when you compete with yourself because you want to you strive for the best performance. Actually, that's the result that counts, and it's your result that counts at the end, not the result of the opponents.